Virginia, it has been a slice. It's time to head out. The sun has just started to rise. And it's gonna be a beautiful day in Romania. I'm gonna be seeing her in, in like 24 hours, even less. I made a mention of it in Bulgaria. The women of Romania and Bulgaria are very beautiful. What was very funny though, is as I was going through the security checkpoint, there had to have been about six women, all of them very good looking, and they all had pistols on their, like, on their belt. I just thought it was like something straight out of like a spy movie. But no, it's just uh, typical Romanian airport authorities. Anything to make a sale. Dracula Praline. Right as I was doing my checkout, the lady's like, have a good flight, and I said, you too. I can't show my face here again. at the Luton Airport. It is 16 degrees, a whole lot colder. One of my favorite things about flying from east to west is that you gain hours. So we have actually gained two hours, so it's only 9.30 a.m. right now. I got a full day ahead of me. Thank you. We have arrived in downtown London. There's London Bridge. This is my second time in London, and I have to say, I don't necessarily recommend this as a one day kind of spot, because it takes you like half a day to figure out what the heck's going on. What's going on? There's a problem. The tube system, or as they call it, the tube, and the train system, and the city, it's just so big, and so it's hard to get around, but it is very efficient if you know what you're doing. All right, about 30 minutes later, we have made it. It looks like we're in a very cool English suburb just outside of London. It kind of has like a unique posh feel to it. And it would not be London without the double-decker bus. Shut the door. <laughs> Adrian! <laughs> oh, hello! Holy crap. There's a wolf in London. It is so beautiful. Oh, so All right. Adrian, tell me what we're getting. We're getting amazing London food, I don't know, sandwiches. Sandwiches. Breakfast, breakfast. You're into that kind of thing. So Adrian's been staying in West London in an Airbnb. And basically right now she's showing me some of the local digs here. We're exploring and I have to babysit my cousin's baby. Okay, the food here is so good. I devoured my burger. Now I got some brownies. You guys are all living out here right now in London. Shelby, Monica, Adrian, what brings you guys out here? Just, just travel, yeah. explore, wander, love. Wander, love. I love London. I love it. I just do. I have friends here. I love it. So if you guys saw the vlog, we actually all met up in Seattle, and that was probably about like two months ago. So it's pretty crazy. I just like last minute saw that Adrian and Shelby, you were the first two to get here. You guys arrived in London, so I like sent Adrian a message being like, hey, like if you want to meet up, I'll be there on Monday, and just like that. That's your channeling too. <laughs> just like that, nice. we met up. <laughs> this is the crib. It was just recently cleaned. Proud user of Mr. Muscle. Some people use Mr. Clean, but it doesn't really get the job done. No way to go. It's literally like a camera haven though. 70Ds, 80Ds, <laughs> Phantom 4. This might be my next purchase. I'm pretty jealous. Mine's dead. The part of London that I'm in right now is called West London, and it's generally the more expensive part of town where the people with more money come and <laughs> Earlier today, when the girls and I were getting water, we saw a Porsche go by that was, it wasn't painted, it had plush. So they had taken like some sort of like a felt material and covered the entire car. The girls told me that they had seen a car that was actually a bright gold uh, Bentley and they see it ripping around here all the time. They got that London money, I guess. So I'm now leaving West London and I'm actually going to be crashing at their place tonight. They have graciously offered me the couch. Right now, I'm going to meet up with another celebrity guest. I actually have like four other people that I'm trying to meet today. I don't know if it's all gonna happen, but in any case, I'm heading back into London and we're going to Covent Garden. And today's an absolutely beautiful day, but I'm so excited for tomorrow, guys. We've got about six hours of flying ahead of us. I do have one stop because I've got a cheaper flight that unfortunately means I have to stop in Newfoundland for like three hours. But right after that, we're going to my favorite place in the world and meeting with my favorite person in the world, 
Laura's little sister. Just kidding, Le I'm, we're meeting, I meant Laura. So I decided to take the stairs up. Little did I realize, the stairs go up forever. It's like going up a massive tower. It just keeps going. That had to have been eight stories worth of floors. Just a few more. So I got off at Covent Garden and I'm currently going to meet with someone, someone you've already met before. Okay, it should be over here somewhere. Maybe. <laughs> What's up? You haven't bought a watch yet. I haven't bought it yet. <laughs> come on, come on. That thing is intense. No one's getting me that thing. I can't film in here. So Lauren has a membership to a thing called like Soho House and basically it's a private club where they have food and stuff and they're not allowed cameras in here so. So what happened behind that door will forever be top secret. Yeah, I changed cameras, better for low light. <laughs> Amazing dinner I had, what, what would you call it? Roast? You had a Sunday roast, it's your yeah. first British Sunday roast. They take the potatoes and they deep fry it in duck fat, duck fat. and then the Yorkshire roast itself pudding. was good. Yeah, Yorkshire pudding, gravy, there's sprouts, you ate them all, cauliflower. Gotta eat got your greens, muscles. kids. Now I'm going home to Notting Hill and you're going to party in Shoreditch. Shoreditch, yeah. Am I taking a double decker bus? You are taking oh, a double decker bus. Oh, this is gonna be big. I'm walking into the bus stop. Yeah. Where are we going? <laughs> that way. Where can they find you? At I don't know. Lauren Bazergi. At Bazergi. At Bazergi. <laughs> It'll be tagged down below. Okay, cool. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Right there, my first ever double-decker bus experience. How was it? Just like any other bus, except a bit more rocky. I think because maybe I was sitting up top, you feel the suspension a bit more. The bus kind of moves back and forth a little bit, but we didn't tip over. Right now I'm heading to a bar. Monica, Shelby are gonna be meeting with me and Adrian will also come a little later, but I'm actually going to meet a couple of dudes. One of them I met at the GoPro conference in Colorado. The vlog's out. <laughs> Alright, we got Sam squared. Sam and Sam. Last time I saw him was like a month ago in Colorado. This is Kate and Lily. What are we doing tonight? <laughs> we are drinking the final On a Sunday night. night. Why are we doing Sunday night? I thought it's, it's London. Like, no, you must be able to do something in London. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, squad. Oh, cheers. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Sam just got ice. Oh. Alright, so we're recreating. Yeah, there we go. You have to put flash up, flash up the photo now so yeah. you know what we're about to do. Okay, yeah, no, of course. So we're recreating a photo right now that has gone viral on Instagram. <laughs> Pretty similar, I mean. Hey, we looking? Oh, that's funny. Dude, that was bang on. That's the photo I just took. Exactly the same. drones is awesome. So drones, if you didn't know, they're meant to be flown inside. People just use them wrong. What's gonna go wrong? What can go wrong? Nothing. Nothing. Anyone can fly a drone. Only a few can fly inside. Is it gonna love me now? Would you love me if I was down? And now, would you still have love for me? What the hell is going on? Alright, so we are leaving Sam Squared's place and I'm crashing on their couch. Adrian should have been here. It's disappointing. It is very disappointing. But uh, tomorrow morning I've got a super early one. It's like 6 a.m. I have to be up and on to the tube 
heading towards the airport. Another brief stay in London, but another amazing one. I need to come back here, but like stay for longer. These whole half day days in London, although great, a little rushed. Right over there is Big Ben. I have London's to be up in like good. four hours. All right, guys, if I'm lucky, I have four hours of sleep ahead of me. Have a good night, and let's get lost again tomorrow. Fun of the day. Yay! One of the things that I've learned while traveling is that people often label places as dangerous. Romania was one of those places where I got a lot of people being like, Romania, why would you go there? Isn't it dangerous? Isn't it?